Hello, this is Seha Chalam from Ashwag and Mysore. Today let us continue with the subject of Saturn in different houses, in different bhavas and its results. And today I am taking up uh, Saturn in the third house. We have done all the planets till now, starting from Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus and now I am in Saturn. First house has been finished. The second house placement of Saturn has been finished. Going in for the third house. So, <clears throat> as I do always, I will always say, uh, you know, catch up with the third house and its significations before going into understanding what actually it gives. So, let us understand. First, what is the third house? Where it is placed? And how actually it affects or influences the daily life and activity of the native. The third house is known as the Bhratrusthana. Bhratrusthana means for siblings, brothers or siblings. Third house is also a house for speech communication. This is not only Vakstana, it is not voice, it is communication. It is how you talk, how you communicate, how people will receive you, whether you will be talking controversial subjects or you are not, uh, you know, don't want to argue, you have a lot of patience and you have uh, composure. So let us understand that. What planet, when placed in the third house, how it reacts and how it actually gives, uh, you know, the, you know, the transformations, what happens in a chart. So, house of communication. House of activity, Parakramasthana, that is the, the arms are to be seen in the third house and uh, whatever the arms do, you know, they work, they drive, they um, do many things, you know, uh, all that is to be seen, you know, if you are able to sculpt, you are able to draw, you are able to paint, all this needs dexterity and very good motor nerve functionality and that has to be seen from the third house. Third house is also 8th from the 8th house. So if I take the 8th house and count from there, it will be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So it is the 8th from the 8th house, which is nothing but Ayusthana for the Ayusthana. This is Bhavat Bhava principle. So 8th from the 8th house. It's a very important house. It's also for short travels, you know, the third, the seventh, the ninth and the twelfth are all travels. So third house is short travels for, let us say, uh, let us say a person gets transferred from X office to an Y office. Maybe in the same city, he will have to shift. That is also to be seen from the third house. If a person is shifting his house from one rented house to another rented house to be seen from the third house. So, the, the upper part of the chest, that is these collar bones, the thyroid, the neck, the nape, all this is, comes under the third house. So, let us see now, when Saturn is posited in the third house. So, I have spoken about what is a good Saturn, what is a bad Saturn, what is a, what is a weak Saturn, how it is magnifically disposed and everything in the second house Saturn, which was a little detailed. But now I will not go into all those details. I will just give an, I will just name the Saturn. If it is a good Saturn, these things happen. So, communication gets a big hit when Saturn is weakly or badly posted in the third house. The person is having uh, issues of stammering, the issues of, uh, you know, being very uh, introvert while he speaks in public. He does not want to speak in public. But he is very fluent when he is talking somewhere else. So that doesn't mean that, you know, Saturn is ill posited, doesn't mean that he will not be able to talk at all. But there will be difficulty in speech and communication. So uh, when it is weakly posited, yes, stammering can happen. The flow of thoughts will not be very clear. So communication will be hit a little bit. But it is well posited, these, these people are very good in communication. They are slow, but they are perfect. It is like, you know, speaking very slowly, uh, but 
choosing all the words, selecting all the words. The vocabulary is great and they are able to formulate the sentences, even the most tough ones in a very easy way so that people can understand. So these people are very good communicators when particularly when Saturn is exalted in the third house, Saturn is, you know, very well placed in the own house in the third house. Particularly it happens for Scorpio and uh, Sagittarius when Saturn is placed in its own house. Beautiful communication and uh, these people can be very good trainers. But they get that bad name, you know, sometimes that they are very slow. This world is very fast for them. But they are very good. They are perfect in whatever they teach. So, when it comes to the uh, third house, we should also understand that it is the sixth from the tenth house. So, if I take the tenth house, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So, it is the sixth from the tenth house. Tenth house is profession. It is karma. All actions and deeds come under the tenth house. And... Uh, the third house is Parakramasthana only in the sense that if you have a strong planet in the third house, it gives a lot of energy to aggressively go ahead for and face challenges. See, taking risk in a job, taking risk in a profession, in nowadays, it is like day in, day out. It keeps happening for people. So if you do not know how to take risk in your job, you are not fit as on day, I'm telling, it's not that you are unfit. It's as on day, people tell that, you know, this guy doesn't fit into this particular type of a setup, you know, corporate setup where people have a lot of competition, a lot of enemies. So, taking risks, handling competition and handling enemies. You know, there are people of the same level, they'll, they'll be leg pulling people who do not want you to rise up in your job. So, if you have a strong negative placement of planet in the third house, it is good for the tenth house. Why? It is the sixth from the tenth. You should not have very soft planets like uh, Jupiter, like Venus in the third house because it compromises the tenth house. You will not take risk. So, people will not take risk. So, if you do not take risk, you will not rise above in life. So, it is like the twelfth house which is the third from the tenth is the motivation for a job. You know, the 12th house, if it is having a strong negative, that is a strong uh, uh, planet like Saturn or a Mars placed in it, it is very good for the professional life because they get motivated to do it. The urge is there to work. But uh, if a strong planet is placed in the 3rd house, that is the 6th from the 10th house, these people can get the, you know, aggression to take up challenges they will rise up to the occasion and they can do very well so that is why the third house is very important because it is the sixth from the tenth eighth from the eighth so it is ayusthana to the ayusthana which increases ayu when the second house becomes a maraka the third house becomes a good placement if you have a negative planet like saturn there and it is if it is well posited, you will have a long longevity in your life. So people have a misconception. They will only see one planetary position somewhere in the 8th house, bad planet like moon or somebody placed there, weak planet. And they will feel that Ayu is gone. Nothing like that. Please see the other planets. They also have a lot of uh, say on that horoscope. They have a lot of bearing on the horoscope. So if you have a strong well placed planet in the horoscope, it will not let you down. It will not let the chart down. It will hold the chart and give a lot of Ayu. So Ayu means longevity, span of life. So good planetary placement of Saturn in the third house. You will go through beautiful, happy life with a lot of challenges and you will be able to do them. You will be able to achieve them. But if it is a weak Saturn in the third house, then there will be a lot of difficulties, bad relationship with brothers, bad relationship with, uh, you know, siblings, you know, a lot of misunderstanding and, uh, uh, you know, weak body structure. There might be problems of the shoulder, shoulder joints. You might end up with a cold shoulder, like a frozen shoulder, a frozen elbow and so on. So, uh, Ayusthana and Bratrusthana are very important to be understood here. 
the activity becomes sluggish if Saturn is weak along with a very slow moving planet like Jupiter in the third house. So if Saturn is strong and it is with a fast moving planet, let us say it is along with Mercury and it is well posited and it gives rise to a very strong Raja Yoga because Saturn and Mercury are friends and they give rise to a beautiful yoga of the mental level and the same thing becomes weak along with the position of Rahu or something it will give bipolarity problems, OCD problems, so many other things. So medical astrology you can combine along with this and understand but still you need to see that if Saturn is posited in the third house whether a person can come up in life you know show that strength and valor Usually Saturn does not want to argue with people, Saturn does not want to get into conflict, Saturn always tries to avoid conflict because it is a planet of patience. Now let us put a retro Saturn in that particular place of the third house. Oh my God, it becomes like Mars. So these people are like, the fear is zero. They can argue anywhere. They are adamant, stubborn. They want to argue. They want to put their point across. They want to prove things and I'll tell you all these points are very dangerous in today's society. You will be alienated, you will be thrown out of some groups, you will not be uh, encouraged to be in a social uh, you know, strata because you are argumentative. So a Saturn which is retro, third house, native, simple advice, keep silent. I'm not asking you to keep your mouth shut or anything like that now, no, take it in the other way but please Keep silent as much as possible. A retro Saturn in the third house, particularly along with Mercury or a retro Saturn with Rahu in the third house. The more the silent you are, the best it would be for you. So it is not required to speak when it is not required to actually open your mouth. So I'm just trying to tell you a very important point of Saturn retro in the third house. As much as you are silent, the more you will grow in your life and you will be able to do fantastic business, you will be able to do very good, uh, you know, in your uh, profession because it is Saturn retro in the third house is a fantastic position for research students. You know, profession along with research, they always have growth. So, short travels will keep happening when Saturn is there in the third house, but it will not be of long distances, it is short travel. You know, it's short travel does not mean only for the time period, it's also for the distance. So it keeps happening, but not too much. But I will tell you one thing I have observed that people who have Saturn in the third house, Saturn in the sixth house, these people are into marketing jobs or something where they will have to be on the move, you know, like, like delivery systems, like for example, boys delivering the couriers, they are always on their bikes on the road, you know, how tough a job it is today with such a stupid traffic and uh, bad road systems, they will have to go around places in the smoke, in the dust and the whole day, you know, 90% of the day they are on the street. So this, these type of tough jobs Saturn only can do, nobody else can do. Rahu can do, but uh, Saturn is the one who has the patience to do it for a long time. So sitting in, uh, you know, standing on, uh, in the middle of the, circle in noisy places, the traffic policemen, I salute them because they are doing a very tough job. You know, people have a very bad attitude towards uh, this type of uh, professions, but I'll tell you, you would not choose that. You would not choose that until and unless you have a strong Saturn in the third house. So, uh, they do, Saturn in the third house means that these people can do any hard job. Starting from what I said to going to distances long distances of going into deep research you know people not talking to anybody sitting in isolation trying to try to solve a particular problem sitting in the lab continuously trying to solve something these people have the perseverance and the patience so uh, it also uh, is for the chest and the arms and very clearly saturn in the third house is not a great position for breathing because it might give bronchitis, the problems of uh, thyroid and bronchitis, which might be chronic in nature. So the third lord also has to be considered before going into this particular uh, position in detail and simply giving predictions. So the Bhavat Bhava principle 
is a very important principle for the third house when planets are posited there because usually uh, in the argala system of the jaimini sutras the third house argala uh, argala in the sense that uh, if the third house is heavy the third from the lagna clockwise is first second and the third and the third house from the lagna behind is first 12th and the 11th so these two are called as uh, pairing houses i am just trying to explain that if the 11th house becomes strong and there are no planets in the third house let us say only one planet is there in the third house which is a benefit then the 11th house takes control of the chart you know the way and means of making money is the 11th house so if it is ethical then the person can go through a sanyasa and if it is non ethical the person can go through you know whatever ways and means and ethics he uses to make money but if the third house is strong and let's say there are no planets in the 11th house and it is vacant the third house becomes parakramasthana that is vikramasthana they are very strong in their arms these people can go into martial arts they can show off their you know like bodybuilding like taekwondo karate these people are very good arm strength so the best thing for them to do in sports is shuttle shuttle badminton they can go become very good squash players hockey players particularly when saturn is sitting in the third house because they need to bend and they also have to have very good artistic hand you know the dexterity of the hand the movement of the hand so they can be very good table tennis players because again you will have to stoop anywhere you need to stoop and do it saturn in the third house gives a very good opportunity these are all small things which actually make a big difference when you are talking to people and giving them an advice like like if you give an advice like you can become a good hockey player that would not have crossed his mind but he would be very you know once he starts going into it he will tell that oh i was not that good in football but i am very good in hockey why because my hands my eye my coordination is fantastic so that's how we need to interpret charts so thank you very much for today's class i hope i have covered considerable subject thank you